Give thanks always and for everything. <laughs> always and for everything. But he adds, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Don't give thanks according to your criteria and norms kapag tayo lang ang namili kung kailan magpapasalamat. Siguro mas maraming reklamo kaysa pasalamat. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we said at the beginning of the Mass, we truly give thanks to God for having gathered us as one community, as one family of faith, as one archdiocese, as one church. And we thank God for the calling that we have received not just individually, but as one community to witness to his gospel, to serve his name in our neighbor, and to be the sign that God truly reigns. There is much to thank the Lord for. As we sang at the beginning of Mass, Bayang tinawag ng Ama kay Jesu Cristo. Just that already deserves our gratitude and thanksgiving to be called by the Father in Jesus Christ to be one body, one people, the people of God the body of Christ, the living temple of the Holy Spirit. But what does it mean to give thanks? Don't get offended, ha? Tinitignan ko lang kayo, parang mukhang hindi naman nagpapasalamat, eh. Oh, ayan, nagmukha na, medyo, ano? <laughs> But what, what really does it mean to give thanks? No. We, we, uh, those are some of the early, first words that we learn as children. Salamat, thank you, thanks. No. Yeah. But uh, what does it mean? Especially if we have readings like those that we have today. From the second book of Samuel, David succeeding to Saul as the king and the tribes of Hebron really begged him, be our king. But then, the people of Jerusalem sent word to David, you cannot enter here. But David still took the city of Zion and he became more powerful steadily coming from Jerusalem the holy city the message of rejection kapag ba sinabihan ka wag kang pumasok sa bahay ko salamat po ayaw kong makita ang mukha mo Salamat po. Anong ginagawa mo dito? Layas. Salamat po. No. 
What does it mean to give thanks? Then in the gospel, from Jerusalem again. Ewan ko ba itong Jerusalem na ito? In the first reading, from Jerusalem came the message to David, you cannot enter. In the gospel, from Jerusalem, the scribes said of Jesus, he is possessed by the prince of demons. Yeah, you see him performing miracles, driving out demons. Uh, why can he do it? Because he is possessed by the prince of demons. So when Jesus opens his mouth, the demons obey their boss who has taken over Jesus. They did not want to believe that Jesus was the vessel of the Holy Spirit. Instead, they interpreted his miraculous actions, liberating people from the clutches of the evil one as a sign. He is a collaborator of the demons. At sa ang galing yun? Sa scribes from Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. A holy city, yet also ambivalent. The place of the temple, yet also the place where prophets are maligned and killed. O oh, Jerusalem, the place where sacrifices are offered to God, yet also the place where people are sacrificed because of ambition, greed, rigidity, O oh, Jerusalem. But in all of this, King David gives thanks and takes over Jerusalem. Jesus will give thanks even with the rejection by Jerusalem. What does it mean to give thanks? Nag-research ako ng kaunti. Kasi ako mismo ngayon, di ko na naiintindihan. Ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng magpasalamat? Dapat ka ba talagang magpasalamat? What, what generates that sense of gratitude welling up to thanksgiving. In the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, he says, admonish the idle, cheer the faint-hearted, support the weak, be patient with all. See that no one returns evil for evil. Rather, always seek what is good for each other and for all. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances give thanks for that is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus you want to scratch your head huh? in all circumstances give thanks 
for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. So for St. Paul, it is not just give thanks, but give thanks in Christ Jesus. Give thanks through Christ Jesus. Then we will learn the true meaning of thanksgiving. Then we understand why St. Paul can say, in the midst of your mission, admonish the idol. Pakikinggan ka ba ng idol? Hindi. Kahit anong sabihin niya, sabihin mo, idol yan. Cheer the faint-hearted. Yung malungkod. Ay, magsaya ka. Gusto ko malungkod. Support the weak. Be patient with all. Eh, that's enough to stop giving thanks. But, give thanks in Christ Jesus. Who admonished the idol. Who cheered the faint-hearted. Who supported the weak. And who was patient with all who never returned evil for evil, even when he was misjudged. And he prayed without ceasing. It is by doing what Jesus does or did that we might understand what thanksgiving means. In the letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul says, Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Give thanks always and for everything. <laughs> always and for everything. But he adds, In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Don't give thanks according to your criteria and norms kapag tayo lang ang namili kung kailan magpapasalamat. Siguro mas maraming reklamo kaysa pasalamat. Pero ang sabi ni San Pablo, magpasalamat sa ngalan ni Jesus. Hindi sa pangalan natin. At kung sa pangalan ni Jesus, magpapasalamat lagi at para sa lahat. Ha? Kasi mass of thanksgiving ito eh, no? The letter to the Colossians. Sabi ni San Pablo, Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ayun na naman. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God the Father through Him. This is a beautiful line. When we do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, whether in word or in deed, it is an occasion to give thanks to the Father through Him. Giving thanks. It is recognizing God who is good, whose mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good 
His mercy endures forever. To the Lord, for He is good, His mercy endures forever. We don't give thanks because I got this, I got that. We don't give thanks because I won the lottery, I won the bingo. I don't give thanks because my enemy, ah, nada pa, buti nga. The object of thanksgiving is I behold the Lord who is good, who is always good. The God that we may not always understand, but in faith, we know God is good. God's designs are not our designs. Sometimes God's designs disrupt our plans, but we say, I believe God is good. We fall, we falter, we are disappointed with ourselves, but we know God is good and His mercy endures forever. That's the reason for thanksgiving, God. And what can we give to God as an act of thanksgiving? St. Paul says, do everything in the name of Christ. It is not just saying, Salamat, thank you, but it is leading our lives, doing everything in word and deed in the name of Christ. That is thanksgiving to God. The Eucharist. The word Eucharist means thanks giving. How did Jesus give thanks to the Father? This is my body for you. This is my blood for you. The moment of death was the moment of supreme thanksgiving. A thanksgiving in the darkness of, of the horror of death, but the conviction, God is good, His mercy endures forever. So I will give my body, I will give my blood as a living, pleasing sacrifice, an act of thanksgiving. My dear brothers and sisters in the Archdiocese of Manila, let that be our daily thanksgiving to the Lord. In whatever we do in word and deed, do it with Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let every action be Eucharistic. This is me, this is my body, for you God and for you my neighbors. That is thanksgiving in the way and the name of Jesus. 
And I want to thank all of you for such a witness of that giving of self to the Archdiocese in all circumstances, whether ple pleasant or not. You have always been there. Our fellow priests, the religious, the lay people, our collaborators. It is a never-ending Eucharist in the way of Jesus. Here I am to serve. This is my body. This is my blood. Thanksgiving. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His mercy endures forever.